Hellion 6 has a brand new live sampling engine, which means that complex sampling is really a thing of the past. Let's have a look at how easy it is to record one live sample. First up, I'm creating a new program. Now I'm going over to the Recorder tab, and in the Recorder tab, I'm going to make some very quick specifications. To start with, I'm selecting a mono source. Now I'm going to select Zero Crossing from the Auto Trim and Auto Normalize. All I want to do here is focus on playing the instrument, so I'm setting up the parameters so that Hellion 6 chromatically maps this sample to every note on my keyboard. I can set an audio threshold so I don't even need to hit record or stop. When I'm ready, I just simply play my instrument and the software records and automatically stops. That sample is now instantly chromatically mapped to my keyboard. And it's perfectly in tune. That's a really easy way to record one sample. And it gets better because I can go in and further shape the sound by adding something like reverence. Now let's look at recording a whole bunch of samples. I've got an external keyboard connected via MIDI and audio. And I'm saying to Hellion 6, start this sample recording process when I press a note on the keyboard and finish it when I release a note. To save time, I'm just going to play three notes. So I'm saying to Hellion 6, map those three notes and fill the rest of them. I'm selecting auto next so that Hellion 6 will start the recording process, stop it and catalog these samples for me in my program tree. I can also record from VST instruments, internal inputs, and other external inputs. When I'm ready, it's just a matter of hitting record and playing the notes that I want to sample. Now I've not touched anything on Hellion 6. It's all automatically recorded and mapped. Once again, a really quick way to be able to record multiple samples on the fly. And if I go over to my mapping window, you'll be able to see those audio files directly mapped to the keys on my keyboard.